Hello and welcome. Thank you for visiting my channel. I am so glad you are here. For the people who don't know me, my name is Rochelle. My brand is the DIY Affiliate Marketing on YouTube. And I am sharing affiliate marketing for beginners, tips, tricks, and secrets in step-by-step -step video, easy to follow tutorials. Are you looking for the quickest, easiest, and most cost-efficient way to create your own affiliate marketing business online? Not sure what network you would like to join. Not sure what type of products or services that you would like to promote. Or are you just looking for the answers and nothing more? If that is what you are looking for, then you have arrived in the right place. I offer step-by-step -step video tutorials that show you exactly what to do and how to do it. This channel is for the beginners in affiliate brand website marketing. Today's topic is posting the share of sale merchant content links, banners, and HTML pages to our affiliate brand website. This is what we covered up to date. We did the research and chose the brand. We created a brand name. We created a WordPress affiliate website. We created a search engine optimized site identity. We created a search engine optimized gravatar and WordPress profile. And if you have missed any of these videos, please check out the playlist. The link is in the description. Today I take you to the back end of the WordPress into the dashboard and also into the share a sale merchant content. Stick around, I give you just the facts. Let's get down to business. This video is number one of a multi-part series in which I show you how to add the merchant code to your WordPress website. In this video, I show you how to add text and banners to an affiliate WordPress website using a paid website and a free website. Go to your account online at the account.sharesale.com or sorry, affiliate login. And once you are in your account, go to get go to links get a link banner choose your merchant Text links. Choose your text link that you would like to use. Click on the Get HTML code. Select all. Copy the code go over to your WordPress choose the plus and you are creating a post. Click on the plus sign, custom HTML, right click paste this is your text going over to your free wordpress
click into posts, add new post. Between a free hosted site and a free site is the plugins. The difference between such as more space in the paid hosting than you have in your free hosting. Okay, so we are in the free WordPress hosting posts now. You want to click on the plus and custom HTML and then paste. This will give you the exact same result for your text. You can do that with any of your text here just by select all, copy over to your post. You can add this in this. So now I'm going to add a block, custom HTML, and then right click and paste. Preview. Add another block of custom HTML. Go back over to my share sale. Select all for my for copy and paste. Go back over to my post. Right click and paste. Preview. That is how you would add your text links on. And then going over to the free site, this is the same thing, is the custom HTML. And then right click, paste, preview the exact same for your free and for your paid in your free site and the plugins. banners you can sort by the date category height or width we'll say we sorted by height would show you the shortest to the tallest. Category. So this is all it looks like um, coupons. And then you can sort by the date, category, height, and width. 
Okay, so say we chose this one. All we would do would be to click into the, the image and here you will see this is the actual ID and then click select all right click copy over to your first WordPress post click the plus block custom HTML right click paste and then preview so this is the banner that I chose. If you wanted to add another banner into the same HTML, you would click on HTML, you would make sure that you are not in the same area as the code for the first banner, and then you would right click and paste your information in, save your draft, and then click preview. And you will see both of your banners, or if you have three banners, four banners, five banners, and you can use different banners. For instance, say I wanted to use this banner and this banner here. I would click into the image, select all, copy over to my post, into my HTML, make sure that I am not in this area at all in any of the code go down about five or six lines right click paste save draft preview so here now I have put the two different banners and you can continue putting different banners in your box. As many banners as you can fit. And if you wanted to take a banner out, you are looking at the code. This is the last banner, this is the last bit of information, so I'm going to take, just delete that. I think I made a mistake. Okay, if you make a mistake, like I just did, you just click the undo, undo, and you undo it to where you made the mistake. I think I took one more. Okay. okay, so I'm going to copy and paste this information. I'm just going to add the custom HTML. I'm going to show you how quickly you can do this. Just click and then right click paste back over to the share of sale What's that and choose the one that I chose from before which is this one here click into it select all copy over to the post 
and I am in my HTML and I want to make sure that I don't interfere with any of this code. So I want to make sure that I am not interfering with this code. So I'm going to go down about six just to put the code in. Click paste, save draft. Preview. Okay, so now this gives me Two, two different banners. And I can continue doing that till I fill up this whole box right here. Just by going into share a sale. And I think this is important. So I don't want to go really fast for you on, with this. I know that you, you want to just get the information, but select all and then copy over to your post. Make sure you are in your HTML. Make sure that your cursor is not anywhere near the last code. Go down about six spaces, click paste, and then save draft. Click Preview. So now I have put three in here and I can continue putting more. Or I could go to another post that I had already made or a page that I already made and put this information on. Going over to the free site, you would then click on the plus. And custom HTML and paste. Mm -hmm. Save draft. Okay, so you can go into one of your pages that you already have, click edit, add a block. Custom HTML. Right click, 
paste preview okay so I've added this banner underneath this information and I am just going to publish that view the post So this is the post that, the first post that I've created, and I just added her on it. Okay, so that's one way how you can use banners. The second way you can use a banner is just to select the your URL it's by itself. So it then becomes a URL, which is the HTTPS. I'm just going to copy that to show you. All right, I'm going to just go into a new tab paste the link in there and click enter So this is what the the link opens to. And it's still opening. So this is what it will open to when it's done. So I can take this link, select all, and then click copy, go over to, I can use it in my WordPress as a button, or I can use it on any other social media as a link. So this is the link when it opens up, which I think is actually pretty cool. So those are the two ways that you can copy the HTML information and put it either on your WordPress or your social media. Video helpful to you, then please give this video a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe so that, and click the notification bell so that you are notified of the next video that I post. Stay safe and have a wonderful evening.